Hello, welcome to the Swanee Tiger football video blog. My name is Doug Reese, and last Saturday the Tigers traveled to Conway, Arkansas to play their last game of the season against the explosive offense of the Hendricks Warriors. They came away with a big victory, 35-9, holding the Warriors to their lowest point total of the season. We have highlights queued up and then an interview from Coach Lauren Dean. I have Coach Lauren Dean with me today. Coach, thank you for coming on the video blog. We appreciate having you. Coach, this game last Saturday was a little bittersweet because it was the last game of the season for you. You're losing your seniors. Uh, there was a little twist at the first of the game that I thought was pretty interesting. You had Cody Daniels line up in the starting lineup as quarterback, and you had Curtis Johnson as running back. Tell us about that, and tell us about the game. You had a big victory, and, and tell us what this means uh, to you right now and in the future? Well, it, it was bittersweet uh, in, you know, finishing up the year. Uh, now we lose our really good eight seniors on, in the program. Uh, but we had got a win out of it, which is always exciting. And to add, add a little twist to the end of the year game, uh, I did put uh, Curtis Johnson in the backfield. Uh, as you may know, we've been depleted at the running back position almost, our, our top two uh, slot backs. Uh, went out four weeks ago with knee injuries. So I don't know if I'd have done this earlier in the season, but uh, uh, last game of the year, I said, what the heck, let's put Curtis Johnson at running back. He's a strong, hard-nosed runner. And Cody, uh, we don't lose much putting Cody in the ball game. He's, he, can, he can do an excellent job uh, running the offense. Uh, he needs a little more experience under his belt. That's why I wanted to get him some more playing time Saturday. We all know Curtis can run the football doesn't matter if we turn around and hand it off to him, if we pitched it to him. We even threw him a couple passes out there. He's a sure-handed kid. Uh, but uh, we're definitely going to miss Curtis Johnson in this football program in more ways than one. So, yes, that was a nice little wrinkle there. But, uh, gosh, we've, we've, we're down to our third and fourth team slot backs. Uh, we lost one last Wednesday night in practice. And after that, I really made up my mind that Curtis is going to start in the backfield for us. Well, that was a really successful move. The first drive, you took it down the field, scored on the first drive. The final score was 35-9. to nine. And, and the guys really played hard. There were a few wrinkles. Uh, they scored off of a blocked um, field goal, uh, or excuse me, a blocked extra point. And, um, you know, that uh, it was an all-around good game yeah, for the team. The defense came up really big. I thought we have played with a lot of confidence the past two weeks. Uh, albeit these are two new programs uh, within our conference. But uh, this past week's offense, we were, we were really worried. that They've been scoring a lot of points, a lot of points. And we held them, we held them to their lowest total for the whole season. 
their, their head coach came up to me after the game and said, Coach, uh, you need to tell your defense coordinator that uh, I think they defended us, uh, Sawani defended us better than anybody did all season. So that, that was a good way to end the year. And I wanted to control the clock and grind away, hold on to the ball. And we were able to do that with 38 minutes possession time. And our defense did a heck of a job. They, they shut them down pretty well. You know, we, we like you said, they blocked our extra point and they returned it for two points. So, and they scored a little bit later after we fumbled on our own side of the field. So we had a misread there, or actually it was a good read, and our fullback didn't squeeze the ball in the mesh, and we turned it over to them. And they had a short field to score that touchdown. I know, Coach Lauren Dean, that the offense had an amazing amount of yards this week. They had 400 yards rushing. Curtis Johnson himself had 150 yards. Right, correct. Now, that, that was an awesome game, and you know there's a lot of great things to take away from that. Now. Your work starts, you know, football, your, your job doesn't end at the end of the football season. It's not like you got vacation for the next several months until they right. put the pads on again. You're, you're going to be going out, you're going to be recruiting. Tell us what recruiting is like for you and your coaching staff. Well, you know, I've coached a number of places, and it, I can't say that recruiting is easier at this place or that place, but it is definitely a challenge here at the University of the South. You have no doubt. You have to find the committed student athlete, someone who truly loves the game of football, and that's what we're looking for. Now, I told my wife this morning, I said, now the real season begins. It, it's fun coaching and game planning and preparing for practices week in and week out. That's fun. Now the real job starts. We have to beat the bushes. We get on the phone. We email kids. You text kids. Uh, we go into high schools here pretty soon. The next couple weeks we'll start getting into high schools. So uh, it, it, it's, a, it's a process. It's a long process. So we have to take it in stride. And we have to realize recruiting's the lifeblood of our program. So we got to get the job done in this area. You know, I know everybody will be anxious to see when May comes who has committed to the Swanee Tigers and, and uh, the players that you'll have coming in. Mm -hmm. Now. What does the future of the Swanee Tiger football team look like? I, you know, one thing that really amazed me was how many young, younger players got to play this year. Right. How many, how many freshmen and sophomores were on the field? Mm -hmm. um, you know, I know uh, several weeks back we had talked and you said that there were six freshmen on defense. Right. Tell us the future of the Swanee Tigers. Well, Doug, I'll say this, and I, I tell the team this. It, guys, if you, if you stay here in the program, uh, you'll be rewarded. If you stay four years, you're going to be rewarded. What's your reward? Your reward is winning football games. And that's still our goal. We're trying to reach that winning season goal. And we're all so close, so close since I've been here in three years. But we all know what so close means. Doesn't mean much at all right now. But uh, we're, right now, we're very, very competitive. People in the conference know that now. Uh, so we're getting high marks and high praises throughout the conference. So, uh, you know, enough, enough of pat on the backs. We've got to turn some of these close losses into Ws. And I tell our kids, if you stick around, we're going to get over the hump. If everyone just kind of falls by the wayside over, over time here, we're going to consistently end up with less than 10 seniors in the program. And that, that, Doug, is the reason why we're paying, playing so many young kids past the three years I've been here, we're playing a lot of freshmen and sophomores. And it's tough. I tell these freshmen that are here in the program, think about when you were in ninth grade in high school, if you had to play on the varsity team at your high school. Some of them did, a lot of them didn't. It's tough, it's tough, because there is definitely a learning curve there that the kids have to get used to. So. So I'm, ho I'm hoping, we're all working hard as a coaching staff to get these guys to stay involved, stay committed to the program for four years, and good things will happen. Well, it was a great season. I know that there were a lot, of, uh, there, were, there were several good victories this year, but then there were some close defeats that one play or two plays could have turned the game around. But we are just so excited about what's going on in the Swanee Tiger football program. And we want to thank you for allowing us to be a part of that this year and uh, for, for allowing us to do the video blog. We also want to thank the, 
uh, the, the uh, school, the University of the South for allowing us to come in and do this. It's been an exciting year and we are looking forward. We can't wait till uh, August of next year when we can get together and, and see the scrimmage and then in September when games start to be played. Well, thank you, Doug, and we appreciate you and what you've done this year. And again, I want to reiterate my thanks to our eight seniors. They've stayed the course. They could have easily fell by the wayside as well, but they stayed on board. They stayed a part of this program, and there's going to be rewards for that as well. And, and our coaching staff, we greatly appreciate those guys staying, staying the course with us here. Well, you have a great staff, and like I said, we're looking forward to next September when there is going to be football played on the field again here at Swanee. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thank you for coming on the video blog. Thank you. It's time for our player interviews. This week's interviews feature senior lineman Jake Foytek and senior linebacker Dave McKeithen, who had great games on Saturday. I have with me offensive lineman Jake Foytek. Jake, good to have you with us today. Thanks for joining us on the video blog. Uh, you had a big game Saturday in Conway, Arkansas. You, uh, the, the team had over 400 yards rushing and Curtis Johnson had 150 yards himself. Tell us about that game and, and the offensive play, the offensive line play of that game. Yes, sir. Um, well, we came into um, an, an relatively inexperienced team, but that we knew had a great offense and a pretty good defense. Um, our, our offensive game plan was really to, to stick with what we knew how to do and really grind it out. Um, we had a relatively simple game plan, but we were prepared to, to get in there and, and do our job. Um, at offensive line, we're really trying to just get our, get our jobs right and make some holes for Curtis and all those other guys to run through. You guys did a great job. Uh, I mean, to have that many yards in a game, I mean, it's just amazing. So when the ball is on the line, you're down in your stance, you know it's going to be a running play, what goes through your mind? Um, I'm really just thinking, um, just running through my head what exactly my job in that exact play is going to be, what my steps are going to be, who I'm going to be blocking, on what shoulder I'm going to be blocking that guy, and really just focusing on getting my job done and getting that guy out of the way for, for Curtis and our, our ball handlers to, to make it through there. So this was your last game of yes, your sir. senior year. How, what, would, what does that mean to you? What does that last game mean to you? Uh, it, was a, it was a big game for sure. I tried, tried not to focus on it too much there, but it's definitely hard not to. It was, you know, it's always bittersweet the end of a season, especially the last one. So it was, it was a really important game. Um, I had missed a few games before this with an ankle injury, but I, I got to play in this one almost the whole game. So that was great. It was a good, good, good time. Now, Jake, you're a senior. Yes, sir. You'll be graduating in May. What are your plans after graduation? Um, I'm telling my parents to keep my room available, uh, keep my bed open, don't don't change anything. Uh, no, in all seriousness, hopefully, hopefully get a job. Um, I'm a natural resources major, so something in that natural resources or environmental sector, um, anywhere in the nation, really, at this point. Well, you had a great season this year. Yes, sir. And thank you for coming and talking to us on the video blog. Thank you. I have with me senior linebacker Dave McKeithen. Dave, you've had a great year this year. It's been your senior year. You guys had a big game on Saturday. Tell us about the game that you had on Saturday. Uh, we played Hendricks College. Um, they are a first-year team, but uh, we knew they are a lot better than Barry, the team we played before. Uh, they, got a, they had a transfer wide receiver, D2 guy. He could catch the ball, make some plays. Uh, they also had a really good offense. Uh, they've been putting up a lot of points against pretty much everybody, including Millsaps and Rhodes, two teams that split the Commerce Championship yesterday. So uh, we weren't underestimating them at all. So we came in defensively uh, with a very good plan and uh, really executed that almost to perfection. Um, we gave up nine points, which is, I think, the, maybe the lowest they've had all year. So our defense came to play, and it definitely showed yesterday. Well, you guys did a great job defensively. Now, you as a linebacker, you know, it was your last game on the defensive side of the ball. Tell us what that was like to play in your last game on the, uh, as, as a linebacker for the Swanee Tigers. Um, you know, I guess I, uh, the whole last game thing, I, I didn't really think about that much. I just wanted to win the game. I uh, definitely didn't want to go home with a loss for that last game. Uh, I guess, you know, during the game, I, I didn't really have much of those thoughts uh, until, you know, the very end, I actually. 
I had an opportunity to make a pretty big play. I'm um, sure everybody knows what I'm talking about, but that was kind of disappointing that I didn't make that. But, you know, all in all, it was um, a great culmination of my Suwannee career here with a huge win yesterday. You know, yet you've had a great season this year. Your name's been called a lot for tackles. Uh, you've had a, a few turnovers that you've gotten. And, uh, you know, we, we, we appreciate what you've done for the Tigers. Um, you know, it, it's been great to see you this year and, and the player that you've been this year. What are you going to take away from your time as a Swanee Tiger? Um, I'm definitely, I feel like the number one thing I'm going to take away is just um, really the virtue of commitment. Um, what it means to commit to something, to be available every day for something, to commit to your teammates, to coaches, superiors, um, really for a greater cause and to work hard no matter what you do. And uh, you, you get thrown a lot of punches, not just in football, but in everything. And uh, how you can roll with those punches is uh, oftentimes how you will end up succeeding. So that's what I think I'll take away from it. Tell us what your plans are after May, after graduation. Uh, my plan right now is, uh, I guess the most specific plan I can give is to find a job, and uh, that's really my plan. <laughs> well, thank you very much for coming on the, vlog, uh, the video blog with us. Thank You've you. done a great job this year. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Now for one of my favorite parts of the program, the big hit of the week. We actually have two of them this week, one on the offensive side of the ball and one on the defensive side of the ball. On the offensive side of the ball, Cortez Brown blocked a Warrior linebacker to get Kayla Beasley a few more yards. On the defensive side of the ball, Emmanuel Bell got a solid hit on the Warriors quarterback. Now here's the big hits. Thank you for watching the Swanee Tiger football video blog. This win over the Warriors was a great way for the Tigers to close out the season. Now the coaches will start the recruiting process and fans will have to wait till next fall to come to Hare Stadium to cheer on the Swanee Tigers. Tigers, Tigers,